Hello everyone! I am Yumi Torimaru, a director of Portland based nonprofit organization Tako Hachi, and also a creator of Kotori Japanese music. With Tako Hachi and Kotori Japanese music, I would like to introduce Japanese culture through music. Culture is a word of the way of life of groups of people, meaning the way they do things. Some of the culture could be what food they eat, what clothes they wear, and what language they speak. What I'm wearing today is kimono and hakama, which is Japanese cultural clothing. I was born and raised in Japan and moved to Portland more than 20 years ago. I love Japanese music with Japanese instruments. So I will share what I can play with some of those instruments. First, let's take a look at one of the most popular instruments, Japanese instruments, taiko, drum. Taiko is separated into three basic type by size. The big taiko is called the o daiko, which o means big. Chu daiko is mid-sized taiko. Chu means middle. And the small drum, which is mostly for keeping the rhythm beat, is called shime daiko. Shime stands for shimeru, which means to tighten. Two heads of taiko are tightened together by bolt or rope. A long time ago in Japan, taiko was used in people's daily life, such as harvesting the farm, working to make something, religion, and even battlefields to intimidate the enemies. Nowadays, taiko has become more of performance art, seen in special festivals and concerts around the world. I have a taiko song to share, but I'm in the house without my taiko buddies following the stay home order. I will play in a special way using air taiko. You see what I mean? Please use your imagination to see what drums my clones are playing. Enjoy!
How did you like the performance? Taiko is really fun. And did you tell who is playing what? The one on the top, the person in blue was playing Shime Daiko to keeping the beats. And the other two yellow and pink tank tops were playing Chu Daiko, the mid sized Taiko. Did you get that? Good job. So the next instrument I want to share is Shinobue, the bamboo flute. It's simple structure, seven holes in the hollow bamboo. Let's count, seven holes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. In Japanese, can you count? Ichi, ni, sa, shi, go, dok. Nana, and this hole to blow into. Because of this simple structure, Shinobe has been enjoyed by people in Japan for a long time, like for more than 1,000 years. Shinobe brings the simple sounds which can describe one's emotion or the beauty of the nature in its music. I am going to play one song from Japan. This song is describing some scenery. Can you guess what scenery it is singing about? Use your eyes, use your ears, and your heart. is about 100 years old called Hamabe no Uta. Hamabe is a beach. Uta is a song. So it's a song about a beach. Did you feel some nice calm ocean wave in coming tide on the sand beach? Finally, I am introducing a shamisen. How many people have seen this instrument? It has three strings. Not many people here in Oregon play this instrument, but we have a very famous movie by a local movie company called Laika. The movie title was Kubo and Two Strings. How many have seen? Some parts are really intense. Those sisters, oh, scary. But it's a really good movie. If you haven't seen, I recommend it a lot. Shamisen has body. This is the body, also called a taiko, like the drum. And the neck, long neck. Is it like a giraffe? And the headpiece. And the itomaki, it's holding the string. And the shamisen player uses this pick, big pick, called a bachi. It's not an ice scraper or shamoji the, for the rice, but it's to 
flat the instrument. And also, is the player use this thing called the UB3. This helps to slide up and down on the long neck. So, it's very important to have. So, shamisen has different styles. My shamisen is called the Tsugaru shamisen, which is quite a new style, about 100 to 150 years of history. And it is purposefully constructed in much larger sizes than traditional shamisen to make powerful sound. Now I would like to talk about some of the Tsugaru shamisen techniques. First technique is downstroke. This bachi goes up to down like this. Up to down. Striking downwards. And next one is opposite. Sukui is down to up like this. So down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Next one is oshibachi. Oshi, osu is to push. So it's going downstroke from one string to the next one. So I'm playing first string with downward and oshibachi to go to the next string. That's oshibachi. And next one is hajiki. It's to pluck with my left hand, not with my right hand, like this. That's hajiki. And next one is suri. Suri is to slide. I can do big suri like this. It's a very characteristic technique in tsugaru shamisen. Big suri. is kamashi. Kamashi is a combination of downstroke and hajiki to pluck and squee upstroke and hajiki. This is also very characteristic for tsugaru style shamisen. So I am going to play a song, Tsugaru Shamisen solo piece. The style is called Kyokubiki, but everybody has different Kyokubiki style. So I'm going to put all the techniques together and make it one song. Enjoy!
Thank you very much for watching. I hope you learned something new about Japanese culture and instruments. And hope to see you soon. Be good. Bye. Hi, this is Yumi from Portland, Oregon. And this is single player mode by Yumi. Worked. And we are going to play one of my original songs called Scent of the Moon. I made this song as Uzuki no Hikari, which is a duet piece with Shinobue bamboo flute nine to ten years ago but I remade it last year with three flute and one shamisen part so hopefully we can play with this forex camera today are we ready oh